Oh man, it's more... Uh oh. Is this... Do I really want to do this in this position? Oh heck, I don't have any good ammo. I don't know if this is the best position for this. Whoops. I mean, I played a couple of shooters like this before. Interesting ammo to give me, I guess. What was that? Was that Marama? Marabank Santarmus. Uh oh. Oh my god, it's a stupid kid song again. Does this go away if I turn off uh You know your Marinax in Termus, you know, you got you got a down pat. I love that you can use the quick save button on the main menu. Yeah, there's really no reason to. Oh no. Oh no. He was trying to fake me out. Sorry. He was trying to fake me out. Get off the ground. That means get off the ground. Thank you. Thanks. Really? You're gonna give me uh, give me some ammo, man. Holy I've never seen that happen. I didn't even know that could happen. You know you learn you learn something every day, don't you? You learn something every day. Now that makes a man just say Maramanx and more than anything else. Cool. A little bit of ammo in my lawn. Man, you can spawn anything anywhere nowadays. Alright. We've been uh, in a ring around the posy a couple of times. I need a key. I need, I, I need, I hey, need if they a can key. go through the door, why can't I? I need a key. Because I need a key. Because I'm, cause I'm just a little man, you know?
Mara Ma. Why would you not say it? What 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 possibly could possess you to say anything else, really? So this is just not solid from one side. I guess it's to to freak you out. Uh, let's go back. There are lots of Kanchakimbo out here. Like again. Just a little baby man here. Hello. I'm just a baby. I'm just a little man. Hello. Come on, show me a game called Solico. I don't know if I like it. Um, my main problem is that it's a game that focuses heavily on a high action John Woo set piece. But in spite of that, seems unwilling slash something something. It doesn't. It has a bunch of secret hunting. It tries to be a very classical Doom experience. Which it really isn't. And I don't know why it tries to have its cake and eat it too. So, let's talk about Ziggurat. Because I think that's the discussion we need to have here right now. Uh, okay, let's have it. You know, I think I'm going to position myself a bit differently, because this is not going to work in the long term. I'm not squatting myself. So, I'll talk about Celica once I get myself set up. Okay, so like, Celica, right? Um, it's a cool uh, Doomer shooter, but it's not. Uh, how to describe it? Because this is like... Oh, that's what I heard, okay. So, uh, how do I explain this? I'm, 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 I'm a pompous... Oh, god damn it. I'm a pompous little boy. Who has mastered a great many arts. God dang it.
give me that. Give me that fat hot dog. I said, give me that fat hot dog. <laughs> I love saying, give me that fat hot dog. Oh my god, you're still alive? <laughs> Goddamn children. The problem I have with Celica is that uh, Celico is is it, oh god damn it! I got Claire Dwarf Fortress, so come to her stream. I'm not gonna tell you where it is. Put it in the comments if you care so much. Um, so what my problem is with 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 with, with, with Silica is really simple. Silica is how, how do I? I put some words. It's a uh, it's a John Woo shooter, so it's a lot of running around, cool shooting, pow 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 pow. Your hit points go away quickly, which I don't agree with. The whole point of Doom is that you take a lot of damage, but usually it's a single hit and you can recover, blah, blah, blah. That's that's besides the point. That's like, that's personal touches and flavor. My problem is that it's a John Woo shooter where everything is a big fat mess, everything is garbage, everything is thrown all over the place. It's a huge particle effect disaster. And in spite of that, it has relatively complex environments and it expects you to find your way to new locations. The game really should go the Ziggurat 2 route of not having secrets, and not having any of the distracting part. Because the fun is the shooting up of the place. Like, I get it, right? Like, oh, well, you get to walk over it later and be like, oh, man, look at all the stuff I showed him. That's kind of cute, I guess. But I got lost a couple of times, and I, I, don't, I don't like that. <laughs> Getting lost in a boomer shooter is uh, where I call Cardinal Sin. So, again, you throw with a tap. I want to know who designed this and why he thought this many steps was necessary. Shark bait. Duke. Everybody's mooching lots of shark baits. I find it interesting that the old fire still discharges. There's also a slide move in that game, and I don't know what it's for. In general, it feels like a game that wants to do a lot. It's a demo, and it's like, oh, there's weapon upgrades. I'm like, okay, why don't you have at least one weapon upgrade, huh? How about you give me a taste? It's a demo, and you're like, we have upgrades, then you should... Give me an upgrade. I don't know. This just feels like a very obvious tiny little thing. Make it a baby. Make it one upgrade for my assault rifle. Locked. Just the one. Doesn't have to be much, but like, it's a demo. You want to show off things. It can be a stupid overpowered upgrade that people can only get if they... Okay, that's great. That's just great. But I don't get it, right? I don't get it. It's... It's a bloody and shooter. It's a blood and shooter, but I don't get it. I don't know. It's very hard to put my my my, my put it put it locked put, put a face on my words put a word on my face. There's just some conflicts of interest that I feel aren't properly resolved by the design. Also, I play a lot of Doom, and I played on baby mode, and I still was like, oh, that's a, that's a spicy video game. I get it. It's a funny pun, all right? Spicy, get it? Jackass. Locked. No. God damn it. Man, that just looks so good. I need a key. 
I need a key. Do you know what it feels like needing a key just to need a key? Do you know what it feels like needing a key when keys are just keys? Geroxicro, yeah. I remember in 1940-50 when I said that myself, it sounded really good. Disable the fail safes first. What? This place has a fail safe? Lock locked. A fail safe that also comes with a ktch. Locked. Appreciate the button. Why is there a fail safe for this? All I'm trying to do is blunderize some people. This should be standard operating procedure. Get that good old fashioned blood metal. Those good old blood steel bars to make myself a blood steel sword with my blood steel level ups. I've got 80 smithing. Do you? I remember that one. Just in time. Get it? Because my name is Justin. J just, just in time. Do, do you get it? Doors, bro. So what happens if you try to overlap them anyway? Like if you try to overlap two uh, wall sectors and vectors. How many how many easy fits does the game throw? Guns akimbo. It burns! It, 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 it burns! Bad news every Yeah. God damn it, Chernobyl. He doesn't take that much ammo, huh? Cocktails. Ooh. I thought there were more people in here. Like, last time I recall, there's like a whole bunch of dweebs in here or something? There's a gun. Is that a monkey? He's got a gun! Is that a monkey? He is armed and dangerous.
Blackout 1 just kind of flew back. And it's the guy next to him that got disintegrated. Cool. Monster bait. Shut up and slumber, and welcome to the jambe. Sweet mother of pearl. Hello? Mr. President? It's me, K Web. Hello? Hello, Mr. President. Okay. Okay. Chained activations. I think they fell to their death. I think it's really impressive that these enemies have falling damage. Like, I, 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 it's just like a minor thing, right? Like, they have falling damage. That's an extra check you have to build into the engine. Whoops! That's not supposed to happen. But up, but up, but up. And that's how I got arrested for cheating. Is that a teleporter pad? Like an inert one? I think I'm shooting their projectiles out of the air, and it's protecting them from my shots. There's a lot of people right now who are like yelling about Game Masters and D&D, and I think... I think the problem is a bit simpler than that. It's that when you're a little baby man, you're like a little beginning baby man. You're just a little man, you know. You you really shouldn't be doing everything like that. You shouldn't run mysteries. You shouldn't do a lot of stuff because it's just way above your pay grade. But I think for these people in particular, there's a lot they could get. There's a lot I think they could gain out of uh, having other players involved. You know, collaborative storytelling where everyone puts uh, puts a puts a, a feather on the cap. Shit. So uh, instead of instead of you saying uh, I go to the blacksmith, who do I find? It is I go to the blacksmith to meet some guy with some name, and he's this and that. You know, having the player characters fill in some of the details. 
The problem is that 5th edition, and this is why I think 5th edition is absolute garbage for new GMs, is you do everything. The point of the game is to be a game. So there's an asymmetry in knowledge and information that inherently encourages the players and the GM to have different separate lists of information and everything. Like, the GM has to know and do everything because that's how the game works is the players don't know everything, and they don't have that information. And I think that's a problem, because for a lot of new people, inventing that much stuff on the fly is a bit taxing. It could take a lot out of you. Why does this feel like a Star Wars level? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know? Really need to stop playing fetch with some of these guys. Which I do feel that a lot of new GMs would have a lot better time if DD was actually collaborative instead of just being like, well, the game masters are because they're the world. They make everything. They have to do everything. 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 But then there's games where it's like, hey, you know, when you go to a shop, you tell the GM who the fuck's there and why you know them and why you think that's a good idea. How about you fill in some of the details, bucko? You're the one doing stuff. Locked. The GM will run them, they'll handle that part. But you give him something to work with. Make it make it a little easier on, on your on your precious GM baby boy. I don't know. That'll make it a lot easier. Start with low expectations, start with a disposable game. Have nothing to lose. And just try something out. And then there's the whole DC and rule thing. Your first game really should just be if you're that dumb, if you really, really need that low of a, of a level, you just want to focus on everything right, have a universal DC. Just go, everything is DC 10. It doesn't matter what you're trying to do. As long as it's reasonable and someone can do it, it's DC 10. Maybe have it to uh, 15 for if it's actually difficult and just roll with it. Just see how it feels. Just see how the dice feel, how the numbers Locked. work, how your players respond to it. Like I, I think the big problem is that 5e, if you open the door with it, it's just a lot. It's very full plate. And, and the beginner set in 5e, unlike the one in, in Pathfinder, which is like, uh, and just lets you fudge around a bit. It doesn't uh, give you a lot of a... Uh, like, the one in Pathfinder, like, opens up as you go along and introduces components and concepts to the Game Master and players alike. And I think that's way more important than getting everything right in the first go. I don't know. I'll, I'll rant about this on Zala stream. <laughs> <laughs> when I finally get invited. When Zyla actually fucking talks to me, god damn.
It's a good question, though. Like, how would I do it? That does look very cultic, doesn't it? Same kind of rusty feel. God. Why? Video game. Oh, why? Oh, why? Oh, you don't have to, but... I'm a man. I do what is expected of me. How could this happen to me? So how would I design a first, because I don't care, I don't want to play 5th edition ever again, but if I had to make one, if someone was like, hey listen, Sapphire, you claim to know so good, how would you design Baby's First Adventure? Well first, what am I allowed to do? What are the restrictions, or is the important question? Assuming I can fuck with the rules as much as I want, as long as the spirit of 5th edition remains intact, there's a lot I would change. It's the fourth expansion where we start having some of the the real grunts, don't we? Oh, gosh. Like, if I'm allowed to futz around, right? If I have the full support authority to... As long as proficiency bonuses are used, as long as this and that, and then this. Then what would I do? Well, first off, baby. Baby Blue, the first thing I do is I make the beginning adventure baby. I make it very simple. Player characters are no goblin assault opening. No, the first fight is going to be against the weakest son of a bitches that can ever see. Because guess what? They're new players. They have no clue what they're doing. They need they need someone. They need a thing they can fight that won't mess them up. And the game master can learn the same rules. Like, oh, look, this is how a monster attacks. Maybe there's a monster that inflicts like grapple, like a lesser condition to show the player characters there's more to life than damage. And maybe a monster has like, oh, I do one more damage on people that are grappled to show the players that synergies exist. Just a tiny bit, but. Probably go with the first fight. No zombies, no goblins, just things that hit things is all you need. The players need to learn how to roll tackles anyway, so just keep it to that, you know? <laughs> then you give them another fight. This one's a bit harder. There's a couple of there's a couple of bad bad beans in this one. There's a couple of people who can actually do some damage. And they have to think a bit. Just a little bit, not too much. Just a little bit. You know, they have to make sure that the Oh, that's great. I love those textures just moving around. <sighs> like, maybe they have to make sure that their wizard isn't in front. You know, the basic stuff. Like, oh, I have less hit points. I shouldn't be here. This is where the secret exit is, isn't it? You silly. We already did the secret level. The final boss is after this. So how about we just... Uh... You know, we'll have the... We'll, like... Like I said, I think if I were to make a first level, I would make the first few fights extremely easy. Just no, no energy, no exercise. Just, just, to, just so the players can roll the dice a little, give them a minor challenge, something to do, like an open, a, a, a close combat, an open question, a character that prods at their at who they are, you know, introduce them to the concept of role playing. Like, oh, I see you are an elf. You have elvish things with thee. Ah, a wizard's implement. How does thine use it? You know, basic questions that are on their character sheet. So they can go like, ah, yes, I can cast a spell. So that they're like, oh, my character is, is a different person and I must act accordingly. And then have some basic baby fights.
And then, once they're ready, you hit up, you hit them with a big one. And that proper fight is going to be very basic. It's going to have an enemy spellcaster to show that, oh man, we have spellcasters, but they might too. If I'm correct, there's going to be two of them. Motherfucking Caleb! Oh, so edgy! So cool! Jesus, he looks so awful. Rest in pieces. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> 